Today, I'm going to tell you why one of the most popular states to move to isn't great step for everyone that's right today. We're looking at seven reasons Washington residents say not to move to the evergreen. State got it. Get it good. Let's take a look. Number seven. In Washington, especially on the western side, it rains a lot. People there even joke that they measure rain in milligrams of antidepressants. The western side of the state gets much more rain than the eastern side. Seattle, for example, gets about 38 inches of rain each year, which is more than the national average. This constant rain can make some people feel sad, a condition called seasonal affective disorder, sad. About 9% of Seattle's population deals with this. While some like me enjoy the rain and gray skies, others find it really affects their mood. That's why some people move away after just a year because they can't handle it. Number six, living in Washington, especially in Seattle, is pricey. Seattle has one of the highest costs of living in the U.S. The median home price in 2023 was about $840,000, much higher than the national average. Renting a one-bedroom apartment can cost around $2,200 a month. By mid-2024, the median home price had risen to about $865,000. Even finding an apartment for less than $2,000 can be tough. Overall, Washington is more expensive than most states, thanks in part to Seattle's high-tech industry and limited housing. While it gets a bit cheaper outside the city, even small mountain towns can be costly. Number five. Traffic in Washington cities, especially Seattle, can be a nightmare. Seattle ranks as the seventh most congested city in the U.S., with drivers losing an average of 94 hours per year to traffic delays. The average commute time in the Seattle area is 30 minutes, six minutes longer than the national average. While there was hope for improvement during the pandemic with more people working from home, traffic barely changed. Number four. The Seattle freeze is real, despite what some may say. It's a social phenomenon where people in Seattle are hesitant to make new friends, especially with those they don't already know. A study in 2014 found that Washington residents were among the least likely to socialize with neighbors or people from different backgrounds. This reserve can make it tough for newcomers to connect. The origins of this behavior trace back to Seattle's early days influenced by its history as a port town with diverse cultures, including Scandinavians known for their tight-knit communities. Number three, Washington is home to some eccentric individuals, especially in Seattle. You'll find a mix of preppers preparing for doomsday, Bigfoot hunters exploring the woods, and artists with unique tastes. Even outside Seattle, you'll encounter odd characters, for example, in the eastern Moses Lake area, some folks may seem particularly unusual. If you're from a more conventional place like Iowa, be prepared to meet people who aren't quite the same. Number two, Washington may not have a state income tax, but don't be fooled. Taxes are still high. The state has some of the highest sales taxes in the nation, reaching up to 6.5 percent on average when local taxes are included. In fact, Washington residents pay an average of $6,962 in state and local taxes per year. So while you won't see it deducted from your paycheck, the state and local governments still manage to dig deep into your pockets. Number one, Washington faces its share of natural disasters, which deter some from moving there. Wildfire season worsens each year, and earthquakes occur regularly, though not as severe as those in California. The state is home to five active volcanoes, including the infamous Mount St. Helens. While these hazards may not bother everyone, they do worry many. Just don't mention Yellowstone to those fearful of volcanoes. They tend to get twitchy and can't stop talking about it. Convinced it's the end of us all. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out. Have a great day. Be nice to each other. Please subscribe our channel.